So I'm here today at an Electrify America DC fast charge station with a 2023 Cadillac Lyric. I have it on rental for a couple of days so I could do charging and range tests. Now we're going to do a full zero to 100% DC fast charge test later, but today I'm going to do a 20 to 80% DC fast charge test. I'm going to see exactly how well the vehicle does from 20 to 80% because while I do the zero to 100% kind of to map out the whole charging curve and see how good of a charging vehicle it is start to finish, most people aren't going to do that. I mean, very rarely will you ever charge an EV from zero to 100. Most people start at somewhere between 10 and 20 percent and, you know, top off to 80, 85 percent if they're on a road trip and then they just keep going. So we're going to do 20 to 80. We're going to see how long it takes to do that. And we'll get an idea of how good of a road tripper the Cadillac Lyric will be. First up, let's take a look at the 20 to 80 percent charge recording that I made in time lapse on a 350 kilowatt Electrify America DC fast charger. Now, I know sometimes the charging station itself can be the problem when we do these charge recordings, but this one station has been very reliable for me in the past, and I talked to others that charge there, and it always seems to be able to deliver the maximum power that the vehicle calls for. So let's check that out now. One minute into the charging session, the Lyric is taking in 186 kilowatt, nearly the peak charging rate of 190 kilowatt that Cadillac claims. It then climbs up to a peak of 188 kilowatt after two minutes of charging before it already starts to slowly lower the charging power that it's taking in. Now, after six minutes of charging, the Lyric is at 35% state of charge, but the charging power is already down under 170 kilowatt. That's not great. Now you'll see that the Lyric continues to reduce the power it takes in until the vehicle is at 46% state of charge, which is after only 11 minutes of charging. It then holds at about 153 kilowatt for two minutes before we see a dramatic reduction in charging power. And after only 17 minutes, the Lyric has bottomed out and is only taking in 29 kilowatt. Over the next 13 minutes, the charging rate gradually climbs back up to 96 kilowatt. And at the 30 minute mark, it's leveled off and holds 96 to 97 kilowatt for six minutes. And at the 36 minute mark starts ramping down. And after 40 minutes, the Lyric reached 80% state of charge, at which time the vehicle was taking in a very disappointing 42 kilowatt. Okay, let's take a quick look at the charging summary. So I charged from 20% to 80%. The charging station dispensed 69.63 kilowatt hour. Now, not all of that ended up in the battery because there are charging losses. It took 40 minutes and it cost me $26.49. And that's with me paying Electrify America's pass plus rate of 36 cents per kilowatt hour. Now I'd like to note here that had I charged this same session at home, I would have paid 16 cents per kilowatt hour and it would have cost me $11.15 to put the same amount of energy into the battery pack. Now most Lyric owners will charge at home for daily driving and only use public fast chargers when they go on road trips. This video, as well as all of the videos here on State of Charge, is sponsored by QMerit. Once I've helped you decide which electric vehicle charger you're gonna buy, then follow the link in the description of my videos and have QMerit install it. All right, well, 40 minutes to charge from 20% to 80% definitely isn't great. There's a lot of room for improvement here, and hopefully GM is going to work on that. And we're talking about electric vehicles and premium, and the Cadillac is a premium electric vehicle. It's a premium brand. With electric vehicles, premium extends beyond, say, the materials used in building the vehicle and how good the driving experience it is. Premium with EVs is range and how fast they charge. And 40 minutes to add 60% of the battery back just doesn't cut it in my book. They've got to compress that down and somehow get that time to 30 minutes or less. Now, it's one thing to look at the charging on a time-lapse charge recording. It's another thing to look at it on paper, and that's what we're gonna do next 
with the charging power and time to charge charts. So let's check those out now. First up, let's look at the charging power graph. Now on this graph, the state of charge is on the X axis and the charging power in kilowatt is on the Y axis. Within a minute of plugging in, the Lyric was accepting 186 kilowatt and gradually climbed up to 188 kilowatt before beginning this gradual decline to 153 kilowatt when the state of charge was at 46%. It then climbed up one kilowatt to 154 kilowatt at 52% state of charge before taking this drastic plunge all the way down to 29 kilowatt. Now it does look like this is a thermal event and the Lyric throttled down its charging rate to allow the system to cool some of the components off. But I can't be sure of that and I'll need to do multiple charging sessions at different states of charge to really be able to prove that or to see if it's GM's way of maybe temporarily balancing individual battery cells. Now after bottoming out, the Lyric then gradually begins taking in more power and climbed up to 96 kilowatt by the time the state of charge was 68%. It then holds that charging rate until 77% state of charge before dropping back down to 33 kilowatt for only a minute. And then it starts to climb back up and it ends up charging at 42 kilowatt when we're at 80% state of charge. Looking at this 20 to 80% charging curve, we can see there's a lot of room for improvement. The two dramatic drops in charging power can and should be eliminated. I'd like to see GM create a flatter charging curve like I get with my Ford F-150 Lightning. My Lightning's battery is about 25% larger than the Lyric's and it charges from 20% to 80% in 34 minutes. That's six minutes faster than the Lyric and it added nine more kilowatt hours during that same charging session. So GM has its work cut out for it. The charging curve needs to improve. I'd like to see something closer to this where the Lyric is still holding about 130 kilowatt when it reaches 80%, or at the very least, it should be at least accepting 100 kilowatt at that 80% state of charge point. Now, of course, it's gonna drop off drastically after you reach 80%, but with a large battery that's much bigger than 100 kilowatt hour, remember the usable capacity is about 106 kilowatt hour. That's what I used in my range test. So the gross capacity has got to be up well above 110 kilowatt hour. It should be able to hold at least 100 kilowatt up to 80%. Now if the Lyra could do that, it would be able to charge from 15 or 20% to 80% in about 30 minutes, which is kind of the maximum acceptable time as far as I'm concerned, to charge up to 80% when you're on a road trip if you want that to be convenient. And next up, let's take a look at my time to charge graph. This graph is particularly important for those on road trips. When you need to figure out how long you have to stop to add back a certain amount of miles to make it to the next charging station or to your destination. The time to charge graph has the charge time in minutes on the X axis and the state of charge on the Y axis. You can see here the line begins at 20% state of charge and ends at 80% state of charge after 40 minutes of charging. With this graph, you like to see an aggressive vertical climb rather than a horizontal line because that means more state of charge is being added in less minutes. I'm gonna break up this charging session into quarters and look at every 10 minutes of charging individually. I'll then translate that to how many miles were added during that time frame. And because the driving range of electric vehicles is always a moving target that's affected by a lot of variables, I'm gonna offer two figures. One based on the EPA range rating of the rear wheel drive Lyric, which is 312 miles, and the other based on my 70 mile an hour highway range test, which I just completed with the vehicle, in which I finished up with 330 miles driven at a constant 70 miles an hour. In the first 10 minutes, the Lyric went from 20% to 44%, so it added 24% of the battery. Using the EPA range rating, I added 75 miles of driving range in those 10 minutes and 79 miles if you base it on my highway range test. Now in the second 10 minutes of charging, the Lyric went from 44% state of charge to 57% and added 13% state of charge. 
And that's because we saw that first severe drop in charging power, which happened at 52% state of charge. Now using the EPA range rating, we added 41 miles, and using my range test, it was 43 miles. In the next 10 minutes, we saw even less miles added, but that's to be expected because it's typical for the charging rate to begin to lower after about 20 minutes of charging. As the vehicle gets to a higher state of charge, they typically take in less power. The Lyric went from 57% state of charge to 68% and added only 11% of the battery in this quarter. Now, following the EPA rating, we added 34 miles, and we added two more miles if you want to use my range test results as the base. In the final 10 minutes, we charged from 68% to 80%, and that added 12% state of charge. That's 37 miles EPA and 40 miles basing it on my range test. Altogether, we added 60% of the battery in 40 minutes, which is 187 miles on the EPA range rating and 198 miles if you want to use my 70 mile an hour highway range test as the base. I mentioned before how you want to see an aggressive vertical climb on this chart. Take a look at how quickly the Lyric would have charged if it could have held the same charging rate that it did in the first 10 minutes for the entire charging session. It would have reached 80% state of charge in 23 minutes. But we know that DC fast charging isn't perfectly linear and the charging rate will typically slow down as the state of charge increases. But there's still a lot of room here for GM to improve the charging characteristics of the Lyric. The gap in this area here can be significantly closed. And I believe that would allow Lyric owners to charge to 80% on a DC fast charger in about 30 minutes, even if they plugged in at a lower starting point than the 20% that I did for this test here today. I have to say, as impressed as I was with the Lyric rear wheel drive's performance in my 70 mile an hour range test, in which it drove 330 miles, I'm kind of equally disappointed in this first charging session I've done. Now I'm gonna give GM a little bit of a pass here because it's only one charging session. I need to do multiple sessions, see if this is repeatable, to see if it was a one-off. Um, quite honestly, to see if what we've experienced here today is something that other Lyric owners will experience when they're on the road. So I am going to do a zero to 100% charging session next. We'll do the full analyzing like we did with this video and then I'll compare it to the results of this video. Hopefully we'll be able to determine if the Lyric charges better, if this was just a bad charging session, or if we see the same sort of result where the Lyric holds some power for a short period of time and then just drops down to the basement and then comes up, charges for a little bit, goes back down. You know, that's not what you want to see with DC fast charging. You want to see a nice predictable charging curve that's kind of flat. Of course, it's going to taper off towards the end once you get close to 80%, but you really want to get that uh, chunk of 10 to 70% where you're sustaining a very high charging rate, really pumping those kilowatt hours back into the battery pack so you can unplug and head off to your next destination. We'll see soon once we do the comparison and the full zero to 100% analysis. Listen, if this is your first time here at State of Charge, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss my upcoming Lyric zero to 100% charge analysis, as well as my other electric vehicle news and reviews. And as always, thanks for watching.